What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give you a Pestilence double companion build that you should try out right now in both PvE or PvP. It doesn't matter. And in fact, I will show you gameplay of me using it in both. One of which will be heroic with a few directives on, and the other one will just be PvP. So I hope you enjoy, and with that being said, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below, but let's go ahead and jump into the build breakdown, and then we'll do the gameplay after. Now, starting off with the specialization, I'm using the survivalist specialization because the reason being is my go-to combination right now for skills is uh, the Mender Seeker Mine, and then also the Defender Drone, because in both PvE and PvP, it is very beneficial using these two skills. You take less damage and you heal yourself over time. So it's a great combination. Not only that, but whenever I show you the uh, PvE gameplay of me doing this with directives, I'm actually using cool skills as well. So you'll see how I use that with cool skills just so you can get a feel for the mechanics and the and the way that I, you know, use this build to tailor make my playstyle. Now, the specialization, the survivalist gives you that mender seeker mine. So that's the only way you're able to unlock this certain skill. So that's why you have to use that specialization. Now, if you don't want to use the Mender Seeker Mine, you can change the specialization to whatever it is you want. Now, the other skill is the Defender Drone. Highly recommend you use it. Even if it's a tier zero, it's still 24% damage reduction. Now, looking at the weapon, I am only using the Pestilence. So my secondary and sidearm are going to be just my normal placeholders. So for my secondary, I have the Slayer. And then for my sidearm, I have the backup boomstick. But again, these are just placeholders. You can use whatever it is you want. You do not have to use the exact same build I'm using. You can switch the weapons or the specialization just to, you know, match your play style. But, you know, as long as you use this combination with the Pestilence, you'll be happy. Speaking of which, let's talk about the Pestilence. Here it is. Uh, the Exotic LMG. Now, what makes this exotic so special is the talent Plague of the Outcast. Now, Plague of the Outcast hits apply a debuff that deals a 100% weapon damage over time debuff that can stack up to 50 times. Now, whenever an enemy dies with this debuff, all those stacks are transferred. Now, this goes for skills as well. So if you're doing something like PvP or even PvE, you can shoot the enemy's drones, their turrets, their healer boxes, their decoys. You can shoot any of their uh, any of their skills, and as soon as that skill is destroyed, it will transfer the stacks to the player or to the enemy, whatever you're going up against. Now, Looking at the numbers and the stats, we are sitting at 209.4k total damage, and that is at expertise level 17, so we can get this 6% higher. We can get it up to 23 expertise, so you can actually get this to hit even harder. As far as the attributes, we have max LMG, damage targets out of cover, and armor damage. Now looking at the build, we have the double companion, uh, for the talents and then for the other pieces of gear we are going for all multiplicatives so we have contractor's gloves for the armor damage we have the fox's prayer for the damage to targets out of cover we have two pieces of walker harris for the armor damage and then we have the hollow man mask for the health damage now, you would say, well, why not just use three pieces of Walker Harris? Well, the three-piece Walker Harris only gives you 5% health damage, where the Hollow Man Mask gives you double that at 10% health damage. Okay. So, all multiplicatives, double companion. Everything is rolled for either damage or crit. Doesn't matter. 
Um, I typically would do everything like weapon handling or something like that for this LMG, especially when you're not using gunner, so you don't get those fast reloads. Uh, that's where weapon handling would really jump in here and help. But with all the multiplicatives and all the crits, it really doesn't matter. Um, so I just went ahead and left it the way it is. That way I can use these pieces on my other builds and it just be transparent. So with that being said, let's jump into each of these items, starting with the mask. So here is the Hollow Man mask. This is the named Yall Gear mask with the health damage for that attribute. Now, the Y'all Gear brand set bonus we get for this build, 10% Hazard. It comes with max weapon damage for the core, 10% health damage, and crit hit damage for the normal attributes with max crit chance for the mod. Going down to the... Eh, let's go over to the backpack. So, Walker Harris backpack. Now, the Walker Harris brand set bonuses I get for this build, 5% weapon damage and 5% armor damage. Now both of those help out the pestilence. Looking at the attributes, we have max weapon damage for the core, max crit chance, crit hit damage, and max crit chance for the mod. Now we have companion on here to go with the perfect companion. And this one, while you're within five meters of an enemy or a skill, you get weapon damage increase of 15%. Now that's why we're using the Seeker Mine and the Defender Drone because they just follow you around everywhere you go and you get that weapon damage increase. Now talking about Companion, here is Perfect Companion. Now this one is while you're within 10 meters of an ally or a skill, you get 20% weapon damage. Now this is the Henri or the Henry, depending on wherever you're from. This is the named Electric uh, brand set. Now the brand set bonus is status effects. We're not really using status effects for this build, but we are using that perfect companion, aren't we? Now uh, for the attributes, we have max weapon damage for the core, crit chance at five, crit hit damage at 10.2, and a max crit chance mod. Going to the gloves, contractor's gloves. Again, we are using this for the armor damage. Now the named Petrov brand set does give us the 10% LMG damage, the armor damage. We have max weapon damage for the core and then crit hit damage for the normal attribute. All of these things help us out. Next up, we have the Fox's Prayer knee pads. These are best in slot for knee pads for the damage targets out of cover. Now the Overlord Armament brand set bonus of rifle damage is not really a big player for this build, but the damage targets out of cover is. We have max weapon damage for the core and max crit hit damage for the normal attribute. And then finally, our last piece of Walker and Harris, our holster. Now the attributes, we have max weapon damage for the core, max crit chance, and max crit hit damage. And that is the build. It is a double companion, all multiplicatives build with pretty high crit. We are using that with the Mender, Mender Seeker Mine and the Defender Drone. Going to the stats, this is for the Pestilence. 209.4k weapon damage, 69.7k for PvP. 45 crit chance, 115 crit hit damage, 85 headshot. Don't forget about the armor damage, the health damage, and the damage targets at a cover. Going to the offensive tab, we're at 122% all weapons damage bonus and 40% LMG damage bonus. So every time we are using the Pestilence, we are starting off at 166%, no, 162%, sorry, damage bonus total. Now going to the gear talents, we are using double companion. So we have normal and perfect companion. For the defensive tab, we're sitting at 797 armor. 343 health, and then 10% explosive resistance, and then 20% hazard. Now the 20% hazard, 10 of that is due to my hollow man mask, and the other 10% is due to my watch level, which brings me to my disclaimer I do for all my build videos. I am currently at shade level 4,990. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. So if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you go to copy and paste my builds, you'll get the exact same numbers and results that I do right here. However, if you are below shade level 1,000 and you go to copy and paste my build, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. Therefore, some of your numbers are not going to be as high. It's okay. Don't freak out. It's still a great build to use. Just note that you need to hit 
shade level 1000 to get the most potential out of your build. Now, it's not a requirement. It's just a recommendation. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I show you the PvE and PvP gameplay is let me just show you what the ticks look like here in the firing range, and then I'll show you what they look like in the actual game. Because remember, these are two different situations. Sometimes you'll hit uh, health enemies. Sometimes you'll hit armor enemies. All right, for this one, I'll show you invulnerable and I'll show you invulnerable elite. One is with armor and one is with just health. All right, here we go. All right, 1.25. Let's pop it. All right, 1.25. Let's go to Invulnerable Elite. And here we go. One point four nine five. So this build can hit up to one point four nine five per pestilence tick at the firing range. So that'll be the number that you want to compare to with your build whenever you put this together. One point four nine five million. All right. Now let's do some PVE and PVP gameplay. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up and let's roll that footage. Uh Alrighty, double companion pestilence. Let's uh, do some PVE gameplay. This is going to be on heroic with four directives. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But here we go. They maintain this outpost. Kind of going. Got a visual on additional Boom. hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. All right. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. Here we go. That Medi. Here we go. What I like about this is I can use the Seeker Mind the entire time and then just keep procking my uh, Defender Drone over and over. Makes it perfect. Especially with this uh, directive on. Four million. Dang. One point one million. Yeah, one point two million per tick, one point four million. One point two million. Oh, he got me. Medical assistance needed. It's all good. I'll let the pestilence kill him. Oh, it's not gonna kill him. All clear. There we go. I repeat, the compound is all clear. I was about to say. I can't be on them. Check the interior while I can have right, get rid of the armor. armor. There we go. That uh armor directive is still messed up it's all good though we're still running through it 
I'm not doing like a speed run. I'm just going through the entire mission just to show you that you can do this on heroic with, you know, four or five directives and just get through it with a breeze. I mean, again, we're running all reds and we're just going to fly through it. And then we're going to go into PVP and we're going to fly through that too. The best defense is a good offense, eh, sometimes. Alright, let's get this box over here. There we go. Anything else to pick up? Nope. Alright. Keep it moving. I think the seeker mine will follow me. We'll see. Ooh, peace candy. Ooh, peace candy. Ooh, peace candy. <laughs> to get every single ammo crate now that I have the uh, ammo hoarders or whatever on. That crap sucks. Maybe I took that one off. Uh, Cooldown skills. Fog of War. Rager. Oh, yeah. Fragile Armor. Here we go. Mm -hmm. mm. how the pestilence is just taking them all out. Look at this. Crazy. <laughs> oh man, that was good. That was good. Watch the pestilence ticks just take them all out. And don't forget about the faction box over here. There we go. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars. Oh, oh, oh man. Got them all. Oh no, didn't get them all. Let's see. Up top. Where? Where are they at? There you go. Alright. That is it. Now we're going to the boss. That 
to keep them from getting more of those mortars. Here we go. Oh, got to me with the foam. They got me. Ooh, they got me. They got me. Oh, man. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ooh, I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Oh, nice. Get that bag, get that bag, get that bag. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Game. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Wow, that was a good run. All right. There we go. Pestilence double companion. All reds. All multiplicatives. Let's go. All right. I can't tell you how really and we just walk through that Lincoln Memorial heroic four directives solo. We dealt a great blow to the true sons GGs. GGs. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. You should be proud. All right, here we go. Let's look at the stats. 560 million damage, 80 enemies killed just under 10 minutes uh, our real crit percentage 30 percent interesting all right let's uh let's go over to pvp and let's go have some fun in pvp if you haven't already hit that thumbs up come on and let's uh roll that footage uh, two one run before you run out of reinforcements all right now this is going to be the Pestilence Double Companion. Here we go. Had a lot of people ask me to try this out, so here we go. I think the best thing would have been to use this with the uh, True Patriot. But I think with this uh, damage build, this should be pretty fun. Explosive seeker mine detected. Room hmm. defender drone detected. That was a full on skill build. Hostile defender drone detected. I'm looking for him. Rogue stinger hive detected. Hmm. There's skill builds. There's skill detected. builds. Watch out. Agent down. down. Move it, move it. Mm-hmm. An agent needs assistance. Ooh, where'd he just go down from? Oh, that just killed someone. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Oh, it just killed someone again. Oh my gosh. The ticks are just going off at people. All right, we're up. Up by four. Probably come down this way. Boost about to act tonight. Go ahead and kill it. Come on. There we go. Boost will be on our side, I bet. 
boost in now. Nope. They're on it, they're on it, they're on it. The enemy is acquiring oh, the boost. The boost has been taken by the enemy. Got him. Rogue defender drone detected. Hostile defender drone detected. Sounds dirty. Rogue explosive seeker mine. They're on little detected. Hulk. Oh crap, they're Hostile over here too. Explosive seeker mine what the hell? detected. Agent down. An agent needs assistance. Where'd he die from, though? How'd he die over here? I'm so confused. All right, keep it going. Oh, they're up top. I see him. Rogue stinger hive detected. Hostile stinger hive detected. Oh, behind me. Immediate medical assistance needed. Hmm. Okay. Everyone has to die at least Agent once. Down. Come on. Let's go. Got me in the back. Alright, their left side. out for the seeker. I'm gonna move up top bridge. I'm sending you a specialization supply drop. Him. Supply drop being claimed by friendly. Nice. There are no more yeah, reinforcements. Why didn't he pick it up? Friendly claiming the supply drop. Maybe it's a. Uh, Control is messed up. Alright, three left. Come on. Let's finish this out. It's been a good one. Just easy killing with the uh, pestilence. Once you get the ticks, it spreads and they just, they all die. I mean, I had three kills off of one pestilence. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Rogue Stinger Hive detected. Stinger hive detected. And we got him. An agent needs assistance. I don't see him yet. I guess whoever finds them wins. Come on. Maybe near Brum? Oh, jeez. Looking everywhere for this guy. Up top. GG's. 
GG's. Hey. It's a win. Solid work. Dang, it is storming outside. I can hear that over my headset and the game. Dang. Wonder if you guys can hear that through the mic. Probably not. Mike has a lot of uh, settings into it to prevent that crap, but it is loud. Hey, MVP, let's go. Pestilence, double companion, baby. Dirty. MVP, we went six, one, and two with 20 million damage. GG's. GG's. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit the thumbs up, support the channel by subscribing. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.